Welcome to the beautiful Sahara Desert at the edge of Morocco. I have a deep releasing yin yoga class for you guys. This flow is great for tight and sore muscles in your hips and your hamstrings. If you are new to yin yoga, please first check out my intro class, which you can find by clicking at the top right hand corner right here on this channel. If you are familiar with yin yoga, we will be holding our poses for two and a half minutes. All you will need is yourself and your mat, so when you're ready, let's begin. All right, friends, let's start standing at the back of our mats. Inhale, hands reach to the sky and exhale, lower in prayer to your heart. Again, big breath in as you reach above your head and this time diving down as you exhale and start to walk your hands out into plank position. Hold here for a breath and then lower the knees, the chest and the chin. Slide the tummy forward. Inhale, press into baby cobra, squeeze the shoulders together. Exhale, lower the body, press into the palms and roll the spine back into child's pose. Feeling that beautiful stretch in the shoulders as you reach forward. Come up now onto all fours. Inhale, arch the spine, look up. Exhale, round through as we take cat-cow. Inhale, arch, lift the heart. Exhale, round, chin to chest. Inhale, arch one more time. Exhale, let it go. Come into neutral spine and we're going to prepare for our downward dog. So tuck the toes, press into the palms as you send your tailbone to the sky and let's walk out our dog, pressing one heel at a time into the earth. releasing any tension in the back of the legs, adding a bit of movement into the body here. Beautiful, let's find some stillness. And as you inhale, send your left leg to the sky, three-legged dog, hold here, really feeling that stretch into the right hamstring. Bend the top knee now, and then take a big wide step to the left side of your mat. We're going to get ready for our first yin pose, the lizard. Now you have the option to lower your back knee to the ground, or if you wish, you may challenge yourself by keeping that back knee lifted and come on down to the elbows. Now this is the most advanced version of the lizard and we will be holding for two and a half minutes. If keeping the knee lifted is too much, that is absolutely fine. Keep it grounded and focus on letting that front knee fall away from you. Let's bring our attention to our breath. Inhale through the nose and long exhale out. Give yourself permission to let go of any stiffness or tension out of that left hip joint. To let the hip release even further, you want to bring your weight over to the lateral side, so the pinky toe edge of your foot, and bring your hips down and forward. As you allow your weight to come forward onto the edge of your foot, this allows your knee to fall further away from your body. Staying on your elbows or maybe you're up on your hands. Just breathe here. Breathe in. And breathe out. Continuously breathing and letting your body know it's okay. With each breath, envision that knee falling further away from your body, your hips coming closer towards the mat. Inhale. And exhale. 
exhale. Well done my friends. Slowly from here we're going to release. If you're down on your elbows, come on up onto your hands and if your back knee is grounded, then tuck the toes and lift it up. Then I want you to swing your front foot to the back into plank position. And now let's take our full Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale as you lift into upward facing dog, open the chest. Exhale, press it back into downward facing dog. Let's send the left leg to the sky again as you inhale. And exhale, bend the top knee, bring it towards your chest. And then extend the leg back, inhale. Again, exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, extend the leg. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, extend into three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to chest, engage the core. Inhale, extend and hold. And on your next exhale, we're going to do a transition onto our bums. So bring the knee towards your chest, cross your ankle over your leg, and shift your weight onto your left hand and open into a side plank. Then lower the hips down and untwist the body so you're on your bottom with your knee now stacked over your bottom leg. Flex the foot, bring your hands under the bottom knee. Inhale and exhale as you release the body forwards into our next yin posture, single legged shoelace. As you fold, you want to try and relax your forehead over top of that knee. So reaching as far as you are able today. By keeping your foot flexed, you're allowing a deeper stretch into the hamstring and through into the calf muscle. So try and relax into this position. You may also use a pillow to place in between your knee and forehead to make this more comfortable for you. Inhale through the nose and exhale out. Notice if the jaw is clenched. Notice how your muscles begin to release. Become aware of how your body slowly starts to let go. Not only letting go of physical tension within the body, but think about what it is you need to let go of in your mind. In this moment, give yourself permission to let go of anything that has been holding you back. It doesn't matter how big or how small. Let it rise to the surface. Gently acknowledge it. And then as you exhale, let it softly melt away. Let go. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful, my friends. Let's lift our heads, release your hands, and hug the top knee into your chest with your opposite arm, and bring your left hand behind your back into our seated spinal twist. To deepen the twist, you can bring your elbow in front of the knee and push it away from your body, staying up nice and tall so we don't round into the lumbar spine. Deep breath in. And exhale, start to untwist the body, extend both legs, inhale, 
reach forward with your arms and as you exhale, begin to hollow the belly and slowly come down to the mat, one vertebra at a time, engaging the core as you come down and then hug the knees into the chest and give yourself a rock side to side, massaging the lumbar spine. Grab behind your knees and begin to roll through the spine and come into boat. Again, roll, keep your hands behind your knees and hold your boat. Roll through and come into boat. This time you're gonna use the momentum as you roll back and come all the way up onto your feet. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, lower your hands in prayer to your heart. Inhale again, send your arms above your head. Exhale, swan dive down to the earth into head to toe forward fold. Reaching for your calves at your ankles. Folding from the hips and bringing your head as close to your knees as you can. Breathe in. And breathe out. Release the hands. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, bend the knees and jump or step into plank. Take a flow through your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, open your heart. And exhale, push it back into your downward facing dog, allowing the heels to sink low. Inhale, lift your right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Feel the stretch in the back of your leg. As you exhale, bend the top knee and take a wide step to the right hand side of your mat and we're going to do our lizard pose on the other side. Now you can drop that back knee to the mat or you have the option to keep the knee lifted and come on down to the elbows, maybe flipping the palms up to the sky opening yourself up to the universe, encouraging oxygen to flow through your body. Let's take a big inhale and exhale. If coming down onto the elbows feels a bit too much today, then stay up on your hands. Listen to your body and accept where you are today. Become aware of any sensation you feel in your lower body, in that hip joint, allowing the knee to fall away from your body. So remember to bring that weight onto the lateral side of your front foot, encouraging your right hip to open and the knee to release. Remember, at any time, you can always drop that back knee to the mat to help modify the position. This is your practice, so do what your body needs you to do to allow you to relax into your lizard. Release all tension out of your hips, out of your body, out of your system. Let go. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful guys, let's take our last breath. And if you're on your elbows, come on up to your hands. And if the knee is grounded, go ahead and tuck your back toes, lifting your back knee. Step back into plank and take it down through your chaturanga. Inhale, open into upward dog, 
Really stretch out the core, lifting the heart. Exhale, lift your hips back into downward facing dog. Inhale as you send your right leg up to the sky. Bend the knee and exhale as you bring your knee to chest. Inhale, extend the leg. Exhale, knee to chest. Three more times, just like this. Lots of strength in the arms and power in that leg. Last one, knee to chest and extend. This time you're going to bring your knee to chest and then cross your ankle over your leg, shift your weight onto your right hand, opposite arm reaches over your head into side plank, inhale. Exhale, lower the hips and untwist your body so you're sitting on your bottom with your knees stacked on top of each other. Bring your hands underneath your knee and start to release your body forward, aiming to get your forehead as close to your knee as possible. This is our single-legged shoelace on the other side. As we fold here, we're not only stretching the hamstring, but also going a bit deeper into the glutes and into the hips. Keeping that foot flexed, to feel a deeper stretch into the calf muscle. Do not worry if your forehead cannot touch your knee today. Just do your best and think about coming forwards with the chest so we avoid rounding into the lumbar spine. Inhale through your nose and a soft exhale out. Again, deep inhale and exhale. Breathe it out. Close your eyes and go inwards. Inquire and breathe. With your conscious breath, exhale your day. Anything that's been on your mind, just for this moment, and breathe it out. Breathe in this beautiful present awareness and exhale as you release further. Breathe in and breathe out. Well done guys, one more inhale and as you exhale slowly lift your head, release your hands and now just pull that knee up towards your chest and you can either hug it in with your opposite arm bringing your left hand behind your body or you do have the option to bring your elbow in front and push the knee away from you, taking your seated spinal twist looking over your right shoulder. Breathe in and breathe out. Great, let's come back to center. Extend your leg and inhale as you reach forwards with your arms and exhale, slowly begin to come down with the body, hollowing the belly, engage your core, and when you come onto your back, hug the knees into the chest and rock side to side if that feels good to you. Just gentle movements here. Find some stillness, bring your hands under your knees, rock backwards and come up into boat. 
Again, roll through the spine and up into bed. So you don't want your feet to touch the ground as you come up. Last one, roll through the spine and this time use the momentum to come all the way up into standing mountain. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, slowly bring your hands in prayer to the heart. One more time, big breath in as you reach to the sky and exhale, swan dive down to the floor, going a bit deeper into our forward fold this time. If you held your ankles, see if you can flip your palms and place them under your feet. Remembering to always fold from the hips, allowing the tummy to come over the top of your thighs. Inhale and exhale, release your hands and then bend the knees and hop or step into plank. Take a flow into Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Lift your heart. And exhale, roll or flip over the toes into downward facing dog. Slowly come down onto your knees and come into a kneeling position facing lengthways along the mat. Bring your hands down in front and begin to open the knees nice and wide, allowing your hips to come down. Stay on your hands or come onto the elbows. You should start to feel a stretch in the inner thighs and have your knees bent at 90 degrees with your feet flexed. This is our last yin position, the frog, which we will be holding for two and a half minutes. You want to aim to have your weight right in the center to really feel the stretch. So not letting your hips sit too far back or too far forward. If at any point you feel any pain in your knees, maybe bring a blanket or a pillow to use under your knees for some added support. Once you have found that spot that allows you to release deeper into the hips and the inner thighs, I just want you to breathe. Taking a moment here and truly bringing your awareness to your breath. Feeling a deep stretch into the hips and inner thighs. Inhale. And exhale. Try and relax your body allowing gravity to bring your hips closer towards the ground. Enjoy this stillness, this meditative state within yourself, finding a peaceful presence as you allow your hips to release further, letting your body go deeper. Breathe in and breathe out. Let go of worry, let go of stress, let go of anything that has been holding you back. Just stay with your breath. In and out. Beautiful guys, to come out, you're going to come up onto the hands and slowly walk your knees together. Take your time here. And then face parallel to your mat and you're going to sit back onto your heels and release your hands forward into child's pose. Let's lift up now with the body and inhale, reach your hands to the sky and exhale, lower your hands to your heart. 
Inhale again, reach up one more time. And as you exhale, bring your hands in prayer and place them in front of your third eye chakra, resting your thumbs at the center of your brow and feeling this blissful and peaceful energy within you. Let's lower our hands to our hearts, taking this moment to bow down and thank yourself for your amazing practice today. Thank you so much for joining me in this yin yoga flow in the beautiful Sahara Desert. I send you love and light, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste. Thank you so much for watching, guys. As you're rolling up your mat, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment below what else you'd like to see from me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more yoga videos just like this one and help my content rise to the top. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.